your plants are gonna help restore the land for the greater sage grouse. We started this program in 2014 right here at Snake River. This was the first prison. The greater sage grouse needs sagebrush for every phase of its life cycle. The BLM collects seed in the area where they want the plants to go in. In April, they give the seed to Institute for Applied Ecology, and we start sowing those seeds at the prisons. This is primarily a volunteer job. When I don't keep busy, I get all stressed out, thinking about home, thinking about my kids. It is very therapeutic. I never have never ever seen or heard of a sage grouse. just reminds me why I want to do good things in life and uh, follow, obey the law <laughs> and uh, be there for my family. And sagebrush does not regenerate after a fire, so we have to go in and plant these seedlings. With that eight inch long taproot that we've grown, they are able to compete with the flammable invasive grasses. We get anywhere from 40 to nearly 100% survival, depending on where the site is. Much better establishment than if you just scattered sagebrush seed out onto the landscape. I'm in here on violent charges, and so to give back to the, the world, I feel like it's probably just a highlight for me. This is the kind of stuff that my daughters like to do. This kind of just reminds me of being with them. But that's probably the hardest part is just not being with them, you know what I mean? I'm really honored to present certificates of achievement to you guys today for the amazing work that you've done for the year. On the back, there's a list of the job skills, characteristics that you had to acquire or exhibit in order to be a successful member of the team here. And this information can be used on job applications or resumes in the future. I didn't know much about it. I always thought it was weed, just a wild weed, you know. I thought it was a spice you put on your turkey or ham. <laughs> the only plants that I've ever dealt with was... <laughs> this season, we've grown just a little over 450,000 plants at 10 prisons. We get to do something good for the habitat here in uh, South Boise, which is really nice. Some of the people I'm definitely going to keep in contact with, they're absolutely good women here. And I want to say that the truth I see in you, and you, and you, is an individual that cares about living things. I see the truth in you as an individual that gives back to our community. And it's my hope that you see that truth within yourself as well. It's great for the, your self-esteem and what you're doing for the environment. It makes a difference. It takes a little bit of freedom to kind of get used to being around people again. I get out 2021, December. I'll be home for Christmas. I'll be getting out 2022, January 30th. I will be on transport back to Nespers County on February 3rd. Just uh, 18 more months. Since I started the program, I've sowed probably about 75,000 plants.